Hi, my name is Ted Chen. I'm from IBM. Hello, I'm Chin Huang. I'm also from IBM. I'm uh, Keith Loans. I'm a software engineer at IBM. And I'm David Patera. I am also a software engineer at IBM. Getting speed from, especially from a, a back end for a graph database, um, is super important because it's a it's a database built on top of another database. Um, so making sure that final end, end of the back end, that storage layer, uh, is performance is really important for us. Well, the, the, the challenge uh, for us is to find uh, the best uh, performing database. And also, we don't want to spend a whole lot of time to tune uh, for performance. It's been very easy to scale out um, and you know, scale both vertically and horizontally. Uh, for us, and um, it's honestly, it's just been great to work with. Yeah, it's been really good. To, it's been great maintaining the Scylla nodes, um, and we haven't run into issues supporting the system that we did run into when we ran Cassandra. Scylla was really great uh, in the sense that we set it up really quick, and there was not much tuning we need to do. It was pretty impressive, out of box. Since Scylla uh, did very well out of box, um, we ended up spending a lot of time tuning the other databases, well, mainly HBase and Cassandra, to make it more comparable to Scylla. Um, but of course, we failed miserably still don't perform as well as Scylla. Yeah, I mean, it just again goes back to most of the issues that we had running in managing uh, Cassandra um, all fell back to JVM issues. We really like Cassandra, um, but you know, uh, with Scylla, obviously, there's no JVM. So cutting out all of those problems from the list and just having to configure things properly for a Cassandra-type system or a Dynamo-type system um, is great.